Hey there, thanks for joining me again. So this is the kit base that comes with the X-Wing and I'm going to be making my own base. So I picked up this little case from Joann's and it's for little storage of little items inside these little containers. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just keep the bottom portion of this case right here and use this as my base because it's nice and solid and will support the model. And it'll be easy to mount my electronics into. I've got a 5 8 inch PVC tube here where I notched out for the uh, portion that fits into the bottom of the X-Wing and this will support the X-Wing. And my plan is, is I'm going to cut a hole right here where I marked in the center and then I'm going to take my 5 8 inch tube and just put it right through the hole that I drill and that will support the X-Wing. So I've cut my hole out here and the PVC tube fits nice and snug right inside here and it holds itself very well without doing anything. This is the portion that fits into the bottom of the X-Wing that comes with the kit. As you can see here, it just attaches inside and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just need this middle portion where the pins go that's right here on top of the PVC tube and I'm going to remove the rest of the plastic and just keep this portion so the first thing I'm going to do is unsolder all the wires from this board so that I can have these pins and put them into my base. So I'm going to go ahead and start unsoldering the pins from the board so that I can use them inside of my PVC tube. So I've got the wires unsoldered from the base and I'm just going to slide this neck off here so that I can access the wires. And then here's the pins I unsoldered from the board and they will fit right inside this portion here which fastens into the bottom of the X-Wing. And I'm also going to cut off the excess plastic around it as well and make it as slim as possible. And you can see here how it fits right into the bottom portion of the X-Wing and the pins go right inside there. Next step is taking apart the base itself so I can pull all the electronics out of the base. And here we have the electronics soundboard and I'm just going to remove that from the base as well. And here it is, the board for the kit and the little speaker that comes with the kit. And these are all the electronics, the kit electronics with the two buttons, my two buttons. This is my trinket board for lights, uh, the USB power board which will power everything, the sound board, and my power switch. And all this will fit inside this home base here that I'm making from scratch. So it's kind of look like this, the trinket, power board, power button, and sound board and they will all be linked together and tied through the USB power board. And I can just plug right into the USB ports in the back. And I've cut these little pieces of tubing here. I'm gonna make little standoffs for the board because I don't want the board sitting directly on the plastic. So I'm gonna screw these little standoffs I made into the bottom of the boards, like you see right here. I have them screwed into the boards which will hold them up slightly so that I can then glue the standoffs to the plastic base rather than the board. So with them in position where I want I'm going to mark the plastic here where I'm going to have to cut away for USB access. So I'm just going to mark each one of the boards here where I'm going to need to cut out so that I can plug USB into it. This one here for power, the other one if I need to update the trinket, 
and this one here the soundboard if I ever want to update the sound effects and I've cut out my holes here as you can see and you can see that the USB is accessible right through these little cutouts here and I can just plug right in and it holds it in place so I'm drilling out for my power button here, starting out with a small bit. And once I get through with the small bit, I will then go up to the correct size and drill it out so that it uh, fits my power button perfectly like you see here. So I cut out this little breadboard here and I have two of my buttons that I'm going to use for my laser and for my sound effects and I'm gonna solder these onto this breadboard here. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I've got my buttons soldered and I have the two buttons here from the kit board and then my two buttons in the same space distance and the boards will just go up against each other and all four buttons should be pretty evenly spaced on my base and the kit board will fit right about here and then my board will fit right next to it so I'm gonna to have to cut out two holes here for my board and then two holes for the kit board buttons I've removed the on off switch and put a jumper here on the kit board so that it's always powered on and only comes on with my power button and I've marked on my base here where I need to drill for the four buttons. I know it doesn't look quite right to the camera because of the angle the camera's at, but they are in the proper place as you can see here. Just looks kind of funky at that angle there. So I've drilled out my holes with the 17 64 inch drill bit and you can see here that all four buttons perfectly line up with the holes that I've drilled out. And I have these little button caps which I'll be using inside of my holes here and you'll push on the button cap which will then push the button that's attached to the boards. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot my plastic base here with a coat of Tamiya Gray Primer and then I'm gonna go on and give it a coat of black as you can see here just use some regular old Krylon flat black actually then I'm gonna give it a coat of gloss to me a gloss afterwards and make it look nice so there's a symbol that comes with the kit base this rebel symbol attaches right there and I would like to use it on my base and I'm gonna put it in the center here but I just need to remove these nubs here because they're uh, holding it up. So I'm going to cut those away and then I'll just glue it onto position. So I've got the PVC tube here and I have the pins in this little portion here that will go into the bottom of the X-Wing. And I've got it all cut out and it's going to fit inside the little cutouts on my PVC tube like you see right here. And it's keeping it pretty streamlined about as low profile as I can go. And then uh, I have this little cutout on the side here where this line will feed my additional laser LEDs because there's not enough pins to run those as well. So I'm gonna have that line there and it'll just slide into the tube once I attach the X-Wing. Then all the wires will come out this little cutout section here at the bottom of my tube. So I've given my tube a shot of black and then a clear coat from Tamiya. And I'm ready now to start putting my boards into position in the bottom of the base. Once again, they're going to go into these positions that you see right here. So I'm going to use some hot glue to secure these to my base and I'm just going to start with the trinket board here and just add glue to all four of my standoffs 
and just stick it into position inside my base and hold it down until it uh, dries in place. And I've got all three of my boards and my power button all glued into position and you can see here they're secure and they're not going anywhere. And here's the little button caps that will fit right inside here. And what I need to do then is take my breadboard and do the same. I'm going to put hot glue on the ends and glue them over position over my button caps. And now I've done both my breadboard and the kit board and they are glued in position and you can hear my buttons working. So the next thing I'm going to do here is remove this speaker compartment from the kit board and I'm going to cut out around here and actually use it inside my base. So I've cut it all out and the speaker fits right into this which I will glue to the bottom of the base here. And then I have the grill portion which I will then attach over top and make a little speaker box out of. And that'll hold the speaker in place in the base. So it's time to start soldering up my wires to everything. So I'm going to start out by running power to my uh, trinket board and to my soundboard, and running the hot ground and getting all that set up here so that I can turn everything on. And now that I've run the power, I'm going to do a quick little test here and plug it in and check my switch and you can see the trinket turning on and off with the uh, power switch. So I'm just going to continue on here and start running my uh, lines for doing my switches and activating my laser LEDs and for activating the sound effects on my soundboard. So this here is my wire harness for doing my laser LEDs and um, it fits through the tube, it'll come up through the bottom and then out the top and it'll plug into the bottom of my X-Wing. And I've extended the wires you can see here, I've extended them and put a thing of shrink wrap around them. And here on the ends are the two sets of lasers, I'm going to attach a resistor to each wire so that I don't uh, overpower my LEDs for the lasers. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to solder on my first resistor to my first set of LEDs here. And I've got them both done now and both are heat shrinked and protected. And then this harness will run up through along with the other wires from the kit board. And then I'm going to pull it out so that it extends past the kit wires an inch or so, maybe a little more, so that I have some room to plug in. And then the wires come through here, wrap around, and they're going to plug into ports three and four of my trinket. I'm going to go ahead and solder those into position. And I've also gone and soldered a speaker onto my soundboard for my sound effects for the lasers and just random effects. And I got this uh, Coke cap that I'm going to make a speaker box with for my speaker. Kind of like the speaker box that comes with the kit. So I've cut out some slashes in the Coke cap here for sound to come through, kind of like the kit one here and I cut out a little notch here for my wires to come through and the speaker itself has a little self adhesion on it so I'm just going to peel that away and stick it right inside this uh, bottle cap here and then I'm going to hot glue it into position right here and I've got it hot glued now and you can see it's not going anywhere. And I've also cut away a portion of the base along the bottom here on that side. 
the front side, this other side, and the back side. And what that will do is that will allow an area underneath, as you can see here, for sound to come since the speakers are down firing. And time for a test of all my electronics. And you can see uh, when you turn it on, the engines start their warm up cycle. The LEDs will begin to warm up, but you have the sound effect there. And uh, a test of my buttons. We've got the lasers firing. And we have random sound effects playing with the random button. And we also have the kit board working. So at this point, I'm ready to take my PVC tube, run the wires up through it, and secure it in a position into my base. So with all the wires run, I've then hot glued it all around and secured it to the bottom of the base and run my wires in, have all my wires nice and neat and tucked. And here is everything in my base. So at this point it's time to move on to more soldering. And I have these pins here that need to go into this little portion that secures to the bottom of the X-wing. And what I've done is I've put some hot glue around the outer portion of this and I'm going to glue it into this little housing. Now I've got that glued into position and a little test here and you can see that it plugs right into the bottom of my X-Wing. So it's time for me to just start soldering all of my wires to the pins. And here I've got all my wires soldered and I have them with some shrink, heat shrink around them wrapped. And then I'm going to use some hot glue here. And I'm going to glue this whole assembly into position into my PVC tube. And here we have the base, all of my buttons, which have been tested and work, the tube with the wires run, the bottom connector, and my laser cannon connector, which will slide into the tube when the X-Wing is attached. So here we have it. The base is all done and finished. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And my next video should be the final paint job of the X-Wing and then it will be completed and ready for show.